all right guys brett pro angel here all right we are officially on episode 13 of my Yu-Gi-Oh journey and to start this episode we're going to be trying something a little different ancient guardians is uh officially um coming out um basically we are going to go on a scavenger hunt to see if we can find them i know they've been having trouble keeping card uh trading card games restocked the stores but we are not going to give up we are going to find this and if we don't then whatever but we are at least going to try so without further ado we're at target right now we're going to try to go in here and see what we can find All right, guys, so we're here at Target, and sure enough, they don't have any either. Yeah, so I don't know when they're gonna restock these. We did find this really cool um, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, um, Duel's Portfolio, um, but no cards to say the least. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and try Walmart. So we just got the Walmart. We're about to head in here and see what they got. Hopefully they have at least some Yu-Gi-Oh products. It's very just disappointing to walk into like a huge company like Walmart and to see like zero Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like because they're bought out. Like it's just so crazy. You would think they would just be able to just, you know, buy more since they're selling. Like you would think, but without further ado, we're just gonna go peep the situation. So here we are in Walmart and it is just a mess. Like they literally have zero cards. I'm just gonna put something in perspective for you. Like literally a limit of one per customer. You get your cards are all sold out. Yeah. This is just a mess. Where can we find Yu-Gi-Oh cards, guys? So I actually just got some really good news, guys. As we were driving clear across town to go to the other Walmart to check on Ancient Guardian, okay, I just called my uh, local card shop, which they currently don't have them just yet. They're gonna have them tomorrow, but today's my day off. So I'm trying to get them today. Um, I'm gonna support my shop regardless. So, um, you know, I will be getting product from them as well. But uh, for now, we just can't wait. So I, I felt, but none other than to reach out to the owner of my card shop and ask them like hey do you have any in stock if not do you have ghosts from the past because if all these places are out of cards last ditch effort we could just go to the shop and buy some ghosts of the past well currently they got bought out as well but he did however inform me that going to the Walmart that we're headed to now, last night they just restocked Ancient Guardians. So hopefully we're not too late. It is currently almost 4.30 and I'm just praying that we can buy some Ancient Guardians. So without further ado, we're almost there. We're about halfway, about 10 more minutes. And yeah, hopefully we can find some. All right guys, so we're here in the Walmart and they actually have it. I'm gonna show you guys. So it looks like they're out of everything but Ancient Guardian. Yeah guys, um, we was on a stretch trying to find this. I think I'm just gonna buy all of these. So yeah. $144. All right, guys, we did it. We literally just spent almost $150 on Ancient Guardians. I am so excited, and this was well worth the money because considering we cannot find it anywhere, if I pull a collector's rare out of this, <laughs> I swear I'm gonna just be so happy. 
But yeah, so without further ado, I'm just gonna head to our local shop just to open the car to maybe get some new sleeves. And yeah, I'll take you guys there. Officially got Ancient Guardians and we're about to rip all these packs. It's, it's about to be crazy, guys. We just spent a lot of money, but whatever. We love the game. Let's dive in. So these cards are really interesting. Ooh, it's a couple cool reprints. Hmm. Oh, here we go with the Snake Deity cards. Ooh, Skullmeister. Eee. That actually does look good as a rare. I'm gonna set that aside. Hmm, Pot of Riches. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Now this looks really cool. I think this is the Rota for the archetype. Um, I really like the art on this. This looks really, really good. Out of riches. Hopefully I'm rich. Ooh, our first ultra. Amnesia the Odoctic Queen. <laughs> uh, terrible. But there's our first ultra. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, another ultra. Your Sartic Big Dipper. Not really sure what this archetype is, but nonetheless, it's another cool ultra. All right, let's see. Another Meister. Guys, we're gonna have like two play sets of these by the time it's all said and done. Okay, we're getting a lot of these reptile cards. Trade in. Ooh, what is this? I think this is another other new archetype that's coming out. Um, it's really cool. If this card is normal summon or special summon, add one sulfur cord pendulum from your deck to hand. So this is essentially just a rota for that new archetype. That's interesting. Curious to see how it does. Eagle Dragon Antana? Hmm, <laughs> interesting. A lot of trade ins. Ooh, there's an Ultra for the new archetype. Dol Sulfa Cord Coolia. Guys, I'm excited to see these cards. The artwork looks really phenomenal. Another Meister! Guys, we officially have two play sets. Yeah, this is like Ben 10 of Gen Impact. Pinky boy. Wonder if we'll get a collector's of that. That would be real nice. Sulfa chord harmonia. I think I'm getting better at pronouncing these. These cards just look so like really cool. Ooh, that'll probably be used in the archetype. Ooh, okay. Your Sartic Grand Chariot. Okay. So there's another Ultra, guys. Well, our Super Luck has officially broken. We pulled four Ultras, so that's not too bad. Pot of Riches. If I had a dollar for every one of these I pulled, I would be rich. Your Sartic McBillies. <laughs> then again, these names are just weird, so I'm not even gonna try. Nick Polar. Sure. Yeah, I would just like um, a double cheeseburger with a McPolar. Jesus. Right, another trade-in. Wish I could trade that in for a, you know, a collector's rare. Sulfur, sulfur cord, harmonia again. Let's start putting these down here now. Another pinky boy. We got four of those. Ooh, New Yo the. Oh, I, I, I ain't gonna try. <laughs> That's too much. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got another one of the Rotas. Oh, Doctic Water Lily. All right, let's see. I just wanna know which of these cards are actually gonna be playable. I'm not really sure like what I'm looking at half the time. Ooh, Aileritz, the Organic Dark. Okay. Um, 
Horizon Snake, Light Serpent, another pink. And another super. Let's see what we got. We got two more packs after this. Another Meister. Almost got three play sets. That is just beautiful. Ooh, an Ultra. Our Ultra luck has not been bad. Your Sarctic Polary? All right, two more packs. Come on, Collector. Last pack. Do you believe, can we pull some nonsense out of this? This is officially the last one. That would just be insane if it actually was a collector's rare. But basing on our luck, probably not. Trade in. Sulfa Cord Elegance. Okay, so I do believe we got three of those. Um, yeah, I do believe that's all the packs. It was a very interesting opening. Yeah, they legit did. There's a dude out there who can crack up any like close boxes and they find it for crack. <laughs> Gotta ruin it for everybody. When is it in a crackhead, man? <laughs> Good thing we don't have like Yu Gi Oh! crackhead. Total crackhead. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of like. Just as I'm kind of like a Yu-Gi-Oh crackhead.